All right, so this is part two. I don't know why my the video just stopped on its own, but uh, I'm gonna just continue this and uh, I'm gonna try to make it brief. But uh, I left off, and this is what it said. She said, uh, the angel explained that in 2025, there will be a lot more hardship than we have experienced this year. This goes right along with what so many others have been shown as well. This woman was told that the people of God do not want to turn away from their sins and that the Most High has sent warnings, but most have not listened. Right? She also, she was also told that the Most High is not happy with how the leaders of the world are treating his children. And yeah, we know that, uh, you know, Israel as a people, you know, we know how we've been uh, done in this society. You know, we're under that curse. You know, we're um, scriptures talk about how we will be uh, not reckoned among the nations. Uh, the heathen would afford our affliction. Uh, you got the Psalms 83 conspiracy from the from these other nations. All right. Primarily Esau, of course. And we're found in their hand. We're, we're still being oppressed. So, of course, he ain't happy with uh, the leaders of this world. He says he's angry with the wicked every day. Okay. Following that, the angel went through four major things which are going to happen in 2025. The first one, the angel said that there would be great civil unrest in 2025. The woman saw two people fighting with each other. One was in blue and one was in red. So basically she's she's seeing the division. And that's uh of course. Let's go to Isaiah 19. <clears throat> it's going to be Egyptian versus Egyptian. Isaiah 19 and 2, it says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. As a matter of fact, let me get that in the um, GNT. And it says, the Lord says, I will stir up civil war in Egypt and turn brother against brother and neighbor against neighbor. Rival cities will fight each other and rival kings will struggle for power. I'm going to frustrate the plans of the Egyptians and destroy their morale. They will ask their idols to help them and they will go and consult mediums and ask spirits of the dead for advice. And, you know, that's not going to work out for them. All right, you're going to be in tribulation. It says, I will hand the Egyptians over to a tyrant, and that can very well be uh, uh, Trump, Nero Trump, and especially with him promising a, a full immunity to law enforcement. It's going to be it's, it's going to be ugly for you, Jakes. All right, to a cruel king who will rule them. I, the Lord Almighty, have spoken. So this is what uh, the scriptures uh, say. You're going to have people fight me against each other. All right. And uh, we know that the Lord said <clears throat> a kingdom divided cannot stand. There's a Mark 3 verse 24. It says, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan Rise up against himself and be divided. He cannot stand, but have an end. Okay. It speaks about this all throughout the scriptures. A kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. All right. You had that one guy come out in his speech. All right. Backed by uh, the, the, the candidate running for a VP under uh, Trump that said that if, if Trump don't get in there, civil war is going to have to happen. You know. That's what he basically said. Civil war is going to have to take place. So are we going to see that in 2025? <laughs> Let's see. Or will we see it in November? We'll see. Okay. But that's uh, the spirit that's out there, man. The spirit of division. And they've been predictive programming in, in, in these films. You know, they had uh, the movie Civil War come out. You had uh, Leave the World Behind. You know, that 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 was uh, due to a civil war where you had all these different things going on. You had the uh, cyber 
attacks and an, uh, an invasion, you know, after, you know, civil war was going on. Okay. Um, let's go to Second Ezra 13. And then I will get back to it. I'm not going to read this whole thing. Like I said, I'll read maybe the, just the first two. And I'm going to uh, put the link in the description. Uh, Second Ezra 13. And in uh, 30. 29 says, Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall overtake the fight against another. One city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. So this all lines up with prophecy. So she saw civil unrest. She a lot of commotion, a lot of uh, confusion, tumults. All right, one was in blue, one was in red. We already know that's uh, people representing the two horns <laughs> of of, of uh, that beast that that appeared like a lamb but spoke as a dragon. All right, the the, the Republican, Democrat, uh, uh, patrician, plebeian. Okay, she did not know what the colors mean, but those of us that live in the United States certainly do. So this woman had to have been in another country for a long time. Many of us have been warning that the outcome of the upcoming election would un unleash chaos all over the nation. Okay, and she said too, it's going to be economic hardship in 2025. And everybody's going to be uh, affected by it. Severe financial crisis. And um, of course, with all these nations dumping the, uh, the dollar, with the dollar still being a dominant currency, you know, it's, 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 it's going to get sour. Okay, all this uh, money that they've been uh, pouring into, the, uh, into circulation, printing out of thin air, causing its uh, value to con uh, drastically drop and, and sending billions to... Uh, the, the, the Ukraine and the military industrial complex and all these billions of dollars to Israel funding the proxy wars over there you know where they're fighting the proxy uh, with Iran and this is all at the expense of the American people who are suffering so you think it's bad now with all this homelessness and all these uh, uh, tent cities people uh, in, in, in these, especially in these democratic ran cities it's, it's so damn uh, chaotic and a lot of people uh, living in poverty it's a mess and that's part of those uh, pains man those those uh, travailing birth pains All right, let me get uh, Mark 13 and it says Nation will go to war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in many parts of the world as well as famines. But this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. All right. So this is what we're going to be dealing with. KJV, it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows and those troubles Part of those troubles is economic troubles, economic hardship, okay? Economic crisis. And then we read about in Revelation about that black horse. You know, one penny for, uh, you know, for barley uh, a week. A days of wage just for a, 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 a loaf of barley. That's, in, that's what you call hyperinflation. So we're going to get to see that. And that's what's going to lead to the caps, the collapse of the economy. And we already know they got the system set up behind it, which is the MOT to, to the B. Now, when I read the article, she didn't really mention about the MOTB. But all these events is what's going to lead to that. All this chaos and fighting. Then you got famine. Economic collapse. And the people are going to be so vulnerable and desperate that they're going to have no choice but to accept it once this devil implements it. Because you ain't going to be able to buy or sell without it. I ain't even got to go to it. Revelation 13, uh, uh, 16 on down. And then you know the the, uh, the penalty for it if you do uh, uh, take it. 
You're gonna melt in that in that uh, thermal heat, that nuclear fire, man. But this is what's gonna come. All right. So, <clears throat> you know, economic hardship. That's the scriptures talk about that. They're going to cast their uh, silver into the streets. Ezekiel 7 and, uh, and, and 11 and 12 says, Violence has risen up into a rod of wickedness, and none of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. <clears throat> Neither shall there be uh, wailing for them. The time is come, the day draw near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return. Neither shall any strengthen himself in iniquity of his life. So it's, it's, it's going to be all chaotic, man. Sword, famine, pestilence. And then you go down here, verse 19, it says, They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. So even your money ain't going to be worth anything. You just, you're just going to be in misery. Only those that's going to uh, make it through this is the Lord's servants. And he said that my servants shall eat, but you shall starve. Isaiah 65 and 13, therefore it does say of the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So that's what's going to uh, happen. And we were the ones that warned you about this. But we were, you know, we were bugged out. You know, we were false prophets. We were bums. Whatever you want to call us, man. So. <clears throat> this is what it, this is what it's going to uh, lead to, you know, and I'm not going to read the next one. She the, the The next one was a uh, famine. And also uh, natural disasters, which we saw this year, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be severe going into next year. This is like a, a woman in travail, a woman that's having those contractions. They get worse and worse with time as, you know, the baby gets near to its deliverance. So the plagues are not going to uh, slow down. They're going to turn up even more and more. OK. That's just what it's going to be. So. You know, interesting to say the least, man. And like I said, I'll, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. So um, I'm going to end it right there. And I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shai. And until the next lesson, Shalom.